a buff head. What is a buff head? So hello, this is Glenn. Today we're gonna explore the fascinating word of a buff head. Are you a buff head? Are you? Are you a buff head? And we'll get into what we use it for in Australian English. So let's get on. Hmm. So buff head. Got my beautiful book. Buff head is comes from the Middle English word buffel. Buffel buffel. And that just means someone who is a fool, who is an idiot. Are you a fool? Are you an idiot? Are you a buffel? And it comes from the French word buffel. God, I don't even know if that's correct French, but who cares? It's only French, it's not important. So buffel, which means buffalo. So when you call someone a buffhead, you call them a buffalo. You're a buffalo. Don't you talk buffalo, you bloody bastard? Why not? Because they taste yummy. You have a bloody good point there. Yeah. So anyway, we use this word buffhead to describe someone who's a bit silly, who is, um, oh, they're a bit stupid. Probably not a bit stupid, just like a bit of an idiot. Not too much. And it's not used really in a aggressive sense, not in a mean sense. It's like more like a fun, jovial type of expression. So, if I do something wrong, oh, I spilt all the orange juice all over the floor. Gee, you are a buffet, aren't you? Or, you could say this, um... Oh, I slept with your wife. <laughs> you are a buffet, aren't you? God, buffet. So those are two ways you could actually use the word buffet. And it's fairly polite. So if you don't want to call someone a bloody ar idiot or a stupid dumb cunt, because you like them, just call them a buffet. So if they ram up your ass in the car, you just go, oh, you are a buffet. Oh, I don't know why you've done that, you buffet. God. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. And also, don't be a buffet, alright? Bye.